Today I'm making golden crispy battered fish and chips for dinner. This is going to be good. Here we go. Today I'm working with somewhere between one and a half to two pounds of cod fish. And I'm gonna cut these into smaller chunks. This is like two large fillets. Here I have store-bought hand cut fries. I have spring mix salad. I'm going to be making two sauces. One's a dressing, one's tartar sauce. It's gonna be good. So I am going to bake the French fries. You could make your own, but I just find this a lot easier. These are already seasoned. They're cut and prepped. So I have them frozen and I'm going to drizzle maybe a tablespoon and a half of avocado oil. This is just to help them crisp up in the oven. And I'm just going to use my clean hands and give them a toss and arrange them into a single layer on the baking sheet. I will be baking these in a preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 27 minutes. And halfway through the cook time, I will just move them around and let them continue cooking. So I am going to make my tartar sauce first because I think it needs to sort of marinate and get flavorful. So I'm working with a 12 ounce jar of mayonnaise and that's going into this bowl. So 12 ounces of mayo. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Angelica and this is Simply Mama Cook's YouTube channel. And if you are already subscribed, be sure to click the bell notification to make sure you get all of my latest videos. Next, I'm going to add, here I have one and a half tablespoons of capers chopped. Here I have one scallion that I chopped and around one tablespoon of fresh parsley and one tablespoon of fresh dill. And I'm going to put that right into the mayo. Sometimes I like to also add a sweet or dill relish as well, but this is what I'm working with today. I'm just gonna keep things fresh and simple. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt-free lemon pepper. Maybe a quarter of a teaspoon works, or maybe a little more, whoops. And I'm just going to give that a good mix. The briny, tangy, salty capers, the mayo, and that lemon pepper with the fresh herbs, it's really a good combo, and it's as simple as that. You can get a little fancy and add extra seasoning. You can taste it for salt and pepper, but this is all I'm working with today, and it's so good. So this is combined well. I'm going to cover and set in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. To prep the fish, I've already rinsed it in cold water, and here I've laid them across paper towels and I'm patting them dry. Now I'm going to discard the paper towels and I'm going to add salt and pepper. I'm going to give them a shake and now I'm ready to prep the flour for the dredge. Here I have a cup of all purpose flour and I'm just going to add like a half teaspoon of salt and I'm also going to add freshly cracked pepper give it a good mix, and this is what I'm going to dredge each piece with. And then once it's dredged, I'm just gonna set it back on the baking sheet. And any extra flour left in this bowl, I'm going to use it for the batter. Okay, so in a bowl, I've added a third cup of all-purpose flour, and here I'm going to add the rest of that flour that I used for the dredge. And I'm going to season this with a couple of things. Here I'm gonna work with salt-free lemon pepper. That's going in, I'll say like a half teaspoon to a full teaspoon, it really is up to you. Here I have my salt, again, a half teaspoon I think works for this. Um, it already had salt from the dredge, so just a little more goes in. I'm also going to add in some onion powder. I'll say a half teaspoon. And I'm going to go with maybe a half teaspoon of paprika. And once I shake that in, as you can tell, I'm eyeballing things. I make this fish all the time, so I kind of just eyeball, but I'll put something in the description below. Now I'm going to give this a really good mix. And before I forget, I'm adding some baking powder. I'm, for this amount, I'm using a teaspoon. And now I'm going to combine and mix this well. 
So for the liquid, you could use ice cold water. I'm gonna go for mineral water um, or sparkling water. You could also use beer in place of this. So I'm going to remove the lid and I am going to use the entire 12 fluid ounces of this bottle. I'm just going to add it little by little and I really didn't weigh the flour. When you weigh ingredients, it gives you a more accurate recipe, which I did not do that today because I'm eyeballing things. So I'm using one and a third cups of all-purpose flour with seasoning and the 12 fluid ounces of sparkling mineral water. And you'll just want to keep adding and mixing it until you get kind of like a pancake batter. And this wet batter is what I'm going to coat and fry the fish in. It's going to be good. So I have preheated cooking oil or my fry oil. You want to bring it up to about 350, 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And now it's time to fry my codfish. I've dunked it into this wet batter. I'm going to let the residual kind of drip off and then it's going into my preheated fry oil. And it will kind of stick to the bottom. You want to kind of let it fry a little bit before letting it go. But if it sticks to the bottom, you can just sort of unstick that. I'm going to let my fish cook for the first fry for around three to four minutes. And there goes the French fries. They are done. So I'm going to remove those and just place them on the counter. They should stay crispy by the time I'm ready to serve plates for dinner. By the way, I am going to be placing the fish on a baking sheet with a wire rack. And once my fish has fried, I'll place it right onto the wire rack. You'll also want to kind of skim off anything that's floating in the fry oil throughout the cooking process. And I also want to mention, it just depends how thick, small, or thin your fish pieces are. If they're thicker pieces, they might take the full four minutes for the first fry. Fry time and cook time varies, so it just depends on the cut of your fish. So I'm gonna continue this process. So after the first fry, what I'm going to do is just carefully remove it from my little pot of fry oil and I'm just gonna let it hang out. Sometimes I do all of the fish for the first fry and let it hang out on the wire rack, but just to kind of show you this before I go through all the fish, you let the, the fry temp kind of come up to temperature and preheat and then you add your fish right back into the oil for the double fry and I'm gonna let these pieces go for an extra two minutes until it gets that light golden brown color. And this is crispy, light, golden brown perfection. Oh, it's going to be good. So my fish is done. And my little crispy oven baked fries are also done. So it's time to work on the vinaigrette for the salad. Here I have a jar and I'm going to start with Dijon mustard. This is my favorite Dijon mustard and quite honestly, I use it and put it on anything I like. So I'm gonna go with like a teaspoon. I'm also gonna go with a couple of tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. You could also use red wine vinegar and if you don't have either, use some lemon juice. Here I'm gonna go with garlic infused olive oil. Again, use regular. I'm gonna add maybe like three tablespoons. I'm eyeballing. <laughs> I'm going to add salt to taste. Start with a pinch, work your way up after tasting it. Here I'm adding some freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm going to cover with the lid and shake this vigorously to emulsify. And that's the dressing. And you always want to taste your dressing. Apparently I really closed the lid tight there. So I'm just going to give it a taste and see how wonderful mm. it comes out when it emulsifies. So good. So let me show you what a plate looks like. I've added two pieces of my crispy fish, and now I'm going to add a dollop of that homemade tartar sauce. By the way, it tastes amazing. And I have nothing against store-bought tartar sauce, but if you can spring for these ingredients to make your own, it really tastes great. So a wedge of fresh lemon, and this is dinner. 
And thank you all for joining me today for this cook dinner with me. I don't know how I'm going to title this. Maybe just crispy battered fried fish. I don't know, but it's so good. And I want you all to hear the crispy snap of this fish. I'm going to add some of that homemade tartar sauce right on top. And it's time to dig in. And it is amazing. So good. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.